So you excited about uh, Hawaii coming in? Always glad to have a home game. So yeah, this will finish up our first round of conference play on Thursday, and uh, we have a special marketing, the curtain of distraction that's going to be taking place. We've invited all the uh, fraternities, sororities to take part in our curtain of distraction. So it's a competitive thing. It should be fun for the student body to par participate and certainly fun for the fans to watch. What uh, is the curtain of distraction? Have you not seen ASU? No, uh, ASU kind of started uh, maybe last year where they have an actual curtain. And when the opponents are shooting free throws, the curtain opens and there's some kind of interesting view for the free throw shooter t to have a peek at. Uh, last week got some notoriety because they had Michael Phelps in Speedos with his all of his gold medals around his neck. And uh, apparently it was uh, maybe seven point or nine point disturbance for the opponent. So we're hoping to have the same kind of results against Hawaii. Oh, cool. And let's see, and then after Hawaii, well, actually, you've got, uh, oh, I'm looking at the men's here. Then Irvine, right? The Andy's. That's right. You, but you don't have to deal with anybody that's 7 6. Thankfully not. Yeah, they, they have some ants, though, uh, that are very, very good. Their little guards are very good. And, uh, you know, they're a tough team. We are lucky to beat them on their home court. I was going to ask you about the curtain of distraction. I'm excited about that. Um, <laughs> but what are you looking to see from both teams this week? Well, some areas of improvement that we've been talking about, uh, we really got some difficult um, turnovers. Hopefully they're all out of our system. But when we face Long Beach State, they kind of make everybody play ugly. And they certainly did that to us on the road. Uh, I think that you know we keep trying to address that and see if we can improve in that area. Against Hawaii, we've got some major size that we're competing against, 6'5", 6'3", 6", you know, they're, they're small people are, you know, 5'9", is their small point guard. Everybody else is pretty close to six foot and above. So that is our uh, an equivalent to the men's side of uh, the anteaters. They, they're very physical. They're very good. They've got strong post play, and everybody posts up. They run a triangle offense. So, uh, you know, they can post up any of the size discrepancies that they have against us. So it'll be an interesting matchup. Hopefully we can do a great job in rebounding efforts and um, make it a competitive game. And um, what do you think has been different these past few games, not getting the results that you guys want? Well, we really moved into the top part of the bracket in the Big West Conference. Uh, certainly right now Long Beach State is sitting second and uh, Riverside is sitting, sitting first. So that's uh, we saw some really good play from our gals Last week, Long Beach State, uh, you know, we were holding the lead until the fourth quarter. They came out in a man-to-man -man press, and we really struggled to identify whether they were in man or their zone. And uh, so we had some, I think, confusion at certain points of the game. Uh, but, you know, took them pretty much right to the end. And same thing with Riverside. Uh, two Two-point game with, you know, a minute and a half to go or something like that. So we were competitive in both games, just free throws for the difference at the end. Uh, so I'm pleased that you know we're competing with the top teams. And now it's just a matter of putting four quarters together and seeing if we can come up with a win. Mm -hmm. Faith, you, you kind of mentioned what I was going to get into with those two games uh, against kind of the higher competition. Does that give a young and inexperienced team some confidence moving forward that your high-end game when you play it can, can compete with kind of the top teams in the conference? I think that really helped their confidence. Uh, if they hadn't learned that lesson or, or gleaned that they are capable of playing with the best, then I, th I think that they should really observe these two games and say, okay, we're right there. And if we keep working and trying to make small improvements, even 1% improvement in all those areas is going to, I think, bode well for the second half of the conference play. If we can stay on a winning, uh, or sorry, an improvement path, I think that will lead to wins. The Twins, I mean, obviously they're kind of a special type of talent, but they've, they've obviously come in and just contributed right away. But we're starting to see glimpses kind of of them taking over the game. Are they kind of kind of starting to get to that point now? I remember at Northridge, I think. Yeah. That. Well, Din, especially the last two games, I thought was just on a different plane. She was all conference type material. Uh, 
in the Long Beach State game, I think she might have started out with the first 11 points for us. I'm like, Long Beach versus Din. Uh, so, you know, she's playing really, really well. And uh, Lynn's been a great rebounder for us and a solid scorer as well and uh, a tough defensive player. So they've been a dynamic duo. And we've been able to play them on the court a little bit more together. Um, and, you know, I just see them both of as having great futures here at Cal Poly. Well, what do you kind of want to see from this team over the second half of conference play leading into Big West tournament play? Well, the the games that we've lost, I think to learn from those games and try to apply some sometimes it's a different strategy I think that we have to come up with as coaches, but some of it is actual play, um, being on the court, having more flow. We struggled with that about a week ago, just trying to have us move together. Um, that seemed like we might be actually playing together at some stage. And, you know, I take that upon myself that I, I gave the players too much stuff. And so they weren't able to just freely play basketball. They were overthinking things. So we've taken some stuff off the table, and I've seen some good results as far as their flow goes. If we'll stay on that path, I think that uh, we're going to keep improving. I'd like to see us decrease our turnovers. I'd like to see us be one of those teams that's in the top rebounding. And we have to get our scoring up as well. I don't think that we can survive at, you know, 53 points, 58 points a game. I don't think that that suits us well.